Power position is exactly what it sounds like. It's the position where we should be able to produce the most amount of power. Think about when you're taking off for a vertical jump and you get to that point where you have to come extend your hips and dig through your toes. Or when you're doing an Olympic lift or like a clean, again, getting back to this power position before we extend. The more comfortable and the better we can get into that position, the more power and force we can produce, the more athletic we can be, the more of our performance will improve. So let's go ahead and see how we do that with the bar. We're gonna start with our feet underneath our hips. The bar is resting right in that hip pocket. Slight bend in our knees, shins straight up and down, and hips and shoulders are back. Okay, from here, we're going to work on the hip hinge movement. So we're going to focus on pushing our hips back. As our hips go back, our chest will come forward. We're moving at our hips, not our back. We're keeping the bar as tight to our legs as possible. Stand back up. So we're starting with that slight bend in our knees in that power position. And the entire movement is in our hips, as if I had my hands on your hip bones, pushing your hips back or rope around her waist, pulling her hips back. A couple things we want to make sure of is not leading with our chest, not locking out our knees, and not arching our low back. So bar slides down our legs. Perfect. 